Hello friends, uh, this is uh, four years old coconut tree in our farm. Uh, today I'm going to show how we can uh, stop uh, the, the rhinoceros beetle affecting this coconut tree. As you know that this uh, rhinoceros uh, beetle is a common attack in this coconut tree. So the best way to uh, stop the attack is applying uh, uh, salt, uh, which, is, which is organic way of uh, uh, stopping. This uh, rhinoceros beetle uh, attacks are uh, dangerous, very dangerous to the coconut trees. You know, generally it attacks the, eats the frond of the tree. You can see uh, this frond is already affected by the coconut beetle. It generally creates a burrow and it goes to the core of the coconut uh, tree and uh, eats the uh, new leaf uh, getting formed. So your uh, Growth of the tree will get uh, mostly impacted if you see the attack in the attack by the um, rhinoceros beetle. So this is the frond that is affected. You can see the complete uh, frond is lost now. There would be beetles inside somewhere here. The best way to stop the beetle attack is applying sea salt. It's a natural sea salt. Uh, you can apply chemical as well, but uh, but uh, but the growth of the tea will get impacted. So you need uh, two kg of uh, a sea salt uh, for each uh, tree, and I'll show you how to apply this uh, salt now. Now I'm going to apply the sea salt in each uh, coconut frond. 